Today, I've assembled some of our supporters to come to Brooklyn Borough Hall in search of Borough President Eric Adams. He's MIA, missing in action. There were 17 shootings in a 24-hour period. 12 of those were in Brooklyn itself. So you had first, and we'll be going there afterwards, you had the Eleanor Roosevelt housing project. Eight people were shot. Then on Atlantic Avenue, you had a series of three others who were shot over by East New York Schneck Street. It's an area I grew up in. And then Van Sicklin, the last person was shot, making a dozen out of the 17. And I noticed that uh, Eric Adams was tweeting away about how this was outrageous, how things had to be done when he's mayor. I would suggest that he start being the Brooklyn Borough President and start doing something about this now. In fact, I was in Rikers Island yesterday to support the correctional officers who have been misused and abused. In fact, they have to work three shifts, three shifts totaling 24 hours straight, which is inhumane. It's a violation of all, all work labor laws that you can imagine, collective bargaining. And yet Bill de Blasio, the mayor, friend of Eric Adams, because Eric Adams is 2.0, forces them to work three shifts and continues to promote that they want to close Rikers Island. Eric Adams supports the closing of Rikers Island. I do not. Keep Rikers Island open, as the correctional officers have suggested. Rehab the different units, some of which I've been housed in over the years when the city was an adversary of the Guardian Angels, and hire more correctional officers. There are only 7,000 right now. They deem an additional 2,000. There hasn't been a graduating class in two and a half years for correctional officers. They have their academy not far away on metropolitan area, right in a shopping center. And you would say to yourself, don't you think that's more important, getting more correctional officers right now? Women, female correctional officers who regularly are being sexually harassed and sexually assaulted by inmates. Male correctional officers who are constantly being assaulted. There is no more preventative detention. What I remember is solitary confinement. Some have called it the box, some have called it the bing. That has been uh, discontinued by Bill de Blasio, who's never really spent any time in Rikers Island. So if you have an inmate, whether it's a male, female, transgender, or any other inmate who's incorrigible, who's a threat to other inmates, uh, a threat to correctional officers, you have no disciplinary way to be able to cause that inmate to conform. That inmate becomes a danger to other inmates. The other thing they do that is crazy is they house gang members of the same gang in the same subset, in the same tiers, in the same units, which just creates small armies that are belligerent, that fight the correctional officers when given the opportunity. So you say to yourself, why is it that so many of the correctional officers yesterday on Hazen Street at the entrance to the bridge, the only entrance in and out of Rikers Island, were in support of my candidacy for the mayor? Because I've been supporting the correctional officers throughout their ordeal, their trials and tribulations. No elected officials, no one running for office has paid attention to their needs. It took all of them amassing with the threat that they might do what they did in 1990 which was to take over the bridge when the correctional department was having some of the same issues where the correctional officers themselves were being abused, were being attacked, were having their rights violated. And a different mayor, the mentor to Bill de Blasio was in charge at that time. And he too turned a deaf ear to the needs of the correctional officers. That was David Dinkins. So when you saw yesterday the correctional officers booing the name of Eric Adams, that's because he was missing in action. A, on Sunday, when the shooting started over the weekend, as you can see from the page six story in the New York Post, he was being wine dined and pocket lined by the elite of New York City and Long Island in the Hamptons at a series of fundraisers. Look at him. He's wearing that red jacket, smoking jacket, a little glass of wine. Eric Adams, who says he's the blue collar candidate to be mayor. Ha, <laughs> don't look too blue collar to me, pal. And then yesterday at Rikers Island, when you should have been there, 
defending correctional officers as I was and have been on a regular basis so that there could be more correctional officers hired so that we could rehab Rikers Island so we could get the emotionally disturbed inmates off of Rikers Island and into mental health facilities to get their proper medication, which is in the best interest of everyone, but especially the EDPs who are inmates. You have to say to yourself, now I know why the correctional officers booed the surrogate who showed up on behalf of Eric Adams. And I might add, the surrogate said that Eric Adams was out of the country. Where the hell is Eric Adams? Does anybody know? I asked the question, it's like, where's Waldo? Where is Eric Adams? It's rumored that he's going to be on Martha's Vineyard in a few days, getting wine dined in pocket line by the elite there. I want to remind Eric Adams, he's not the mayor. Although he's self-anointed, as he did at the Kings County dinner recently, with Bill de Blasio right behind him. Unfortunately, our present mayor, who single-handedly has destroyed this city with a Miley Cyrus wrecking ball, he declared himself the mayor. I think the media has pumped up this guy's ego so large he needs a crane to get himself in and out of a room. He's got an election. He's running against yours truly, Curtis Lewa. I've been in the subways. I've been in the streets. I've been in the neighborhoods where the only Republican that anyone has ever seen is Abraham Lincoln on a $5 bill, and I got the street cred. So when we finish today outside of Borough Hall wondering, where is Eric Adams today? Because he ain't in Brooklyn. He ain't dealing with the shootings, except he's tweeting about what should be done as opposed to what I'll be doing. I'm going to be going into all those neighborhoods where there were the shootings, where I grew up and spent a lot of time, especially in the 42 years of leading the Guardian Angels throughout the five boroughs of New York City. And I'm going to be bringing something to their attention. Let me see where that little plastic bag is. With that button. I'm going to be going up to the residence in the Eleanor Roosevelt Public Housing Project and saying, have you seen this man? Because he's lost. He's MIA on the old milk carton. Where is Eric Adams today? I'd like to know. And then I'm going to go down to a place I spent a lot of time on Schneck in Atlantic Avenue in East New York. And I'm going to point out to the residents where three were shot. Have you seen this man, Eric Adams? He tweets about what he's going to do about gun violence and gang violence, but he's too busy being wine dined in pocket line by the elite. The people who are never in the streets, they're in the suites. And then I'm going to go to Van Sicklin, and I'm saying to the people there in East New York, hey, have you seen this man? You know, he is your borough president. You'd never know it. He likes to tweet about what to do about gun violence and gang violence. Whereas Curtis Sliwa, a candidate of the streets who grew up with the gun violence and gang violence and has dedicated my life 42 years, remains in the subways, the streets, and the parks dealing with this menace. So I ask all of you at the anniversary of Crown Heights tomorrow, August 19th, will Eric Adams make an appearance at a time that a very horrible incident, racially and religiously divided, took place in our city? At that time, David Dinkins was our mayor. Will Eric Adams make an appearance? I doubt it. And will he be in Martha's Vineyard the rest of the week? Or who knows what trendoids, freakazoids, or jet setters Eric Adams will be with. My message to Eric Adams, hey, pal, you're the Brooklyn Borough president. That's what you get paid for. I know all you do is cut ribbons and appoint community board members and figure out capital budgets but it's not a tough job. How about going into the streets, the public housing complexes, the areas where the gangs have infiltrated, and using whatever street cred you have left and convince them, put their guns down. But then again, Eric Adams can't do that because he carries a gun. He carries a gun to church, as he's told us, in a few times that he rides the subway. And I suggest to Eric Adams, as a guy who has survived five shots, five gunshots on the orders of the Gotti's to the Gambinos, that if you're to set an example to young men who were involved in civil war between gangs in the streets, the last thing you do 
is tell them to put down their guns when they know you have a gun too. If you're lucky enough to become the mayor, Eric, put down that gun. I got shot five times, was offered a carry permit by the New York City Police Department, said no. I'm not carrying a gun. I lead the Guardian Angels in 13 countries, 130 cities, and here in New York City, and we don't carry guns. We don't carry weapons. It has to be do as I say and as I do. So join us today as we make the rounds in Brooklyn, and we're on the search for the missing in action, Borough President Eric Adams. Has anybody seen him lately? Well, if you were in the Hamptons, you might have had a glass of wine with Eric as he was being wine-dined in pocket line by the elite. You see him yesterday on Rikers Island with all the correctional officers who actually booed him through the, his surrogate that he sent and praised me for being right on time because I was in the house. He was apparently in a foreign country. Where are you going to be the rest of this week, Eric? What do you need the money for? I got no money so far. What are you raising this money for? Ah, uh, inquiring minds want to know. And then finally, the chutzpah, the huevos, the culiones to announce to the Hampton elite crowd as they were having their hors d'oeuvres and having their white wine, that he has a 10-year plan now in place to become the president of the United States. Is that chutzpah or what? Who is the last person who told us he wanted to be president of the United States? Well, his buddy, 2.0, Bill de Blasio, right? Four months he was on the campaign trail like Don Quixote looking for votes, and he got nothing. He got nothing. So, Eric Adams, focus on being Brooklyn Borough president. That's what you get paid for. Know that you got an election from the street smart guy, Curtis Lewa. And if you're lucky enough for the people that make you mayor, focus every day on being the mayor and not on a 10-year plan to be president of the United States.